Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of February. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, sharing, commenting. I do it for you guys. Um, you guys all mean a lot to me and without you, there would be no me. So um, I hope these messages all resonate with, I hope they resonate with you at some time uh, during the week or months. I do my daily readings and I do my monthlies. So, um, uh, but this is what brings me joy and happiness is doing these readings for you guys and helping people. This month I've decided to use the Lover's Path Tarot deck and also, um, uh, I can't say it. What am I trying to say? Doreen Virtues Romance Angels. All right, so what I do is I typically I shuffle till all the cards fall out one at a time. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Those are the ones that I read. Um, if more than one card falls out, I put the cards back and um, I shuffle them back in the deck and with, until only one card falls out at a time. All right, so anyone, so what I'll do is I'll ask the cards. What are the messages for all Aquarians for the month of February? What are the messages for Aquarians for the month of February? And for anyone who is new to my channel, I am what's called a clairsentient, which means I read people. I read people and I read emotions. So if you are inquiring or wanting to get a reading on somebody that you're involved with and you can't read them and you don't know what's going on, I read, I read people. So if you want to know if they still love you, I can feel if they love you because I feel the emotion, the emotion of love. Um, when I um, feel that they don't want to commit, then I pick up that emotion that they don't want to commit. If I feel like they're not going to come back, then I pick up that emotion of them not coming, uh, that I don't want to come back. So that's how I do my readings. I That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. Um, it comes second nature. I've been empathic all my life. Reading, I will do a, a card reading as well, but that's not as, as natural to me. So I have had to learn that. There's some people who have been doing it all their lives. I haven't. But the cards usually back up my intuition. So what are the messages for Aquarius for the month of February? just bump this all right message for Aquarius for the month of February all right message for Aquarius for the month of February message for Aquarius for the month of February message for Aquarius for the month of February see that card it came flying out it wants to be read what's the message for Aquarius for the month of February Aquarius for the month of February Okay, we're going to get that one. Okay. I just want to make sure. Oh, see, I can't see these. Move these over a bit. I just kind of, I can't see when I'm, because my iPad is up on, like, on a, on a stand so I can't see when I'm sitting down if these cards if you can see them or not okay I'm hoping you guys can see all that okay so the very first card here is the card that rep that indicates the relationship and that is the seven of cups and this is the card that is um, about choices and decisiveness it's fantasy it's overindulging in thoughts of what the future may bring. It's daydreaming. It's about a decision must be made in order to move forward and rejoin the world. So this relationship that you're in right now or possibly want to be in, um, uh, it's about there's the, it's about being indecisive. Okay, it's about too many cups in the air, too many choices. Um, so whoever you're involved with or you could be feeling this. You're not feeling like maybe you're a priority here. Okay. All right. So then the person uh, that is, you know, it, this is the other person. You're here. You're the querent. And this is the querent. That's you. 
and this is the other person. So here's the king of coins. So you could be involved with a Taurus, Capricorn, or um, Virgo man. All right. And in his mind, we have the king of coins. So the king of coins is... Um, uh, his mind is on business, riches, success, creating, it's real estate, transactions, might be even a real estate agent. It's about persistence, um, steadfastness. So this person is really, his mind is more on him or her, because it's a general reading, is mainly on business and money right now. Okay, then there's you. Your mind is on fertility. It's on um, family. It's on, it's the empress, okay? It's about uh, a new marriage or a special relationship. It's practical action, manifesting physical products. Your mind is on family, all right? Um, his mind is on, your mind is on family and creating something together with this person, okay? Okay. So here we have the three of cups and the three of cups is emotions, feelings, and emotional concerns for that person, him or her. All right. So the three of cups is about celebrations. So this person here is celebrating, um, involving women. Um, it's about unions. It's about joy. So even though his, this person's mind is on money, there's celebrations here with people, maybe with women. Doesn't look like there's a lot of commitment going on here, okay? Then there's you, temptation. Emotional feelings and emotional concerns. It's about temptation. And that card talks about um, being tempted by forces that one cannot control and obsession in the form of envy, sensual desires, and the need to be controlling, Okay, so are you trying to control this person because you don't know where this is at? Not giving you any kind of a commitment. This is a non-commitment card. Okay. Okay, so then here we have um, how they present themselves on the outside. And this is the wisdom card. So the wisdom is, I believe, the hermit maybe. No, the high priestess, okay, represents the high priestess. And this is, um, on the outside, they represent themselves as someone who is um, wanting to share um, education. It's about using wisdom to transform a difficult situation for the better. It's about knowledge, education, enlightenment. On the outside, he's feeling enlightened. This person, I keep saying he, he or she is feeling enlightened. He or she um, is trying to transform difficult situations. Okay. So he's got some wisdom. This person's got some wisdom here, but kind of knows what he wants. And it's probably not commitment. More about the money. And then there's you on the outside contemplation. You see what's going on here. You're trying to control the situation. You want to build something with this person. And there's contemplation here. So this talks about um, withdrawal, introspection, retreat. It's listening to your heart, retreating into inner life. Um, and you're, you're not, your needs are not focused on relationships with others at this time. You're, trying to, you're contemplating here on what you should do. Listen to your heart. Okay, and so you're trying to figure out what's best for you and not what's best for somebody else. Okay, all right, so I will shuffle and see what comes out with Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What is the message for Aquarius for the month of February? Aquarius for the month of February. Okay, put them back. Aquarius for the month of February. Messages for Aquarius for February. Aquarius for February. Aquarius for February. Aquarius for February. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Release your X. This, the time has come to clear your energy. All right, release your X. So um, maybe there's an X holding him back or her back. Um, maybe that's why they don't want to make that commitment. They must release something or it could be you. I don't know how this ties in here. Um, but you have to let go of control somewhere. Okay. All right, so this is the reading for you Aquarians out there. I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, again, send me an email. We can set up a private reading and you'll get it in the form of video. And I will um, do the reading. You watch it. If you have any more questions, you email me back and I will send another video. So I will keep sending videos until all of your questions are answered. All right, everyone. I hope all you Aquarians have a wonderful February. Bye-bye.